we're going into Vault 112. That is... That means there's 11 other ones. No, 10 other ones. I can count. In this area, probably? Depending on how they're scattered, I guess. Open door? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I apologize if there's a bit more background noise than normal. My uh, bedroom door hinge just kind of broke off, so it's kind of sitting on the floor right now. <laughs> and there's a fan out there, so... Shouldn't be a big issue, but... Kind of terrifying that anyone outside of Vault 101 could have just walked up and opened it while we were all sealed inside there for years. Like, what if the outside world was still super radioactive? I mean, it's quite radioactive, but, you know, like instantly lethal except to super mutants radioactive. Hello? Anyone alive? Hello? You look like... Welcome to Vault 112, One of those President. outcasts According from the Brotherhood sensors, robots. You have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Oh. Please redress in your Vault Tech-issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, I just please sold proceed down the stairs to my the Vault main floor so that you may enter your suit. assigned Tranquility Lounger. <sighs> yeah, I... I just sold. I just sold it. That's sad. The Anyhow. Tranquility lounger and be seated. We'll probably fit in a little bit better with the other residents. Assuming there are other residents. Clinic, clinic. Tranquility... Okay, these look like stasis pods. Like, from, I mean, a myriad of sci-fi, but it, what this puts in my head is, like, at the beginning of Alien. Hey, bud. Hello, sir. Hello. I'm not sure if I'm going to be sitting in one of those. Seems like a bad idea. Hey, they're alive! Or at least not decomposed. Better than it could be, I guess? I'm not sure where I'm going. Oh. I guess I can follow the waypoint. Simpson, Henderson... Oh, this one. Are you the same one? Could I have just followed? Oh, we're going into VR. Come on. Or it just gives me a game over screen and reloads. That would be pretty great. Oh no, my sanitizer's no longer active. Oh my god, it is VR. And we're a small child? Hello? If there's somebody Hiya. named Simpson or Henderson. Good day. Five cent lemonade. Could I get some? Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Yes. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? I love that this kid is... Ah, really does sound like a kid. It's great. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with. Except for Betty. And she's kind of... Well... She's mean. Oh, poor Timmy. I gotta go now, bud. Bye-bye. I'm not gonna... I don't remember if it's blue or red pill, but I'm not gonna mess up this kid's... Hey there, sport. Existence. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Thanks, George. Where's the... Pl oh, the playground's in the middle of the roundabout. That... That seems real sketchy. Wait, why are there... This is a weird neighborhood. Wait. There's no road out. This is a cul-de-sac, but it's all sack. 
Hey, Betty. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm so glad I capped the follow three launchers FPS so that the game only runs at 100 FPS and it the lip sync is fixed. That was not a big issue, but it it's it's better this way. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? Weren't they were they all adults in the pods? It was all very dark and I couldn't tell. Sure, I'll play a game. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. What? I can't do that. That's crazy. No, Timmy's the one who's crazy. You'll see. Make him cry and then come tell me. Maybe we can talk some more then. Whoa. Imagine a video game where you just play as a child and you get quests like that. Uh, there's Timmy. Hey, Timmy. Good day. Hi. Want to play? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, my. Hmm. Betty says I should make you cry. What? No, she didn't. Did she? Oh, my I God. Like He's going to cry for She's me just creepy. saying. And she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. Make Timmy Newsbomb cry. Do I have to? Hello? Okay, that's awesome. You bring up your pit boy and it's oh. just the fallout. The vault tech boy. Hey, Bill Foster. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Betty's a jerk. Anyhow, have you seen my dad? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. What, uh, what can you tell me about Timmy? The noose bomb boy, huh? Quiet kid. Seems like his parents don't give him much wiggle room. Just between you and me, kiddo, he looks like he's what we'd have called a mama's boy back in my day. Nice day, yep, isn't it? You've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. Fair enough. What do you have to say about the nice neighborhood? Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy it's to lend a hand. just cycling through them because I can't look at my quest log. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bill. You, you don't belong here. Hi, old lady dithers. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. Oh, the suffering crap, must end. Crap, she knows. Any amount of people suffering, I'm like, I can't lie to you anymore. Yeah, finally, someone who knows what's going on. How do I get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. I know. We're sleeping, dreaming. I, I just agreed with you, lady. It became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He, he just is. plays this background he music while you're trying while you're up. sleeping. You hear it in your dreams. Who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes. But underneath, he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he's the he overseer. still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. How come you're the only one who seems to know this? Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that fail-safe. Can I just exit? I don't want to tell her she's crazy. I agree with her. Game. Come on. Okay, fine. What fail safe? It's in the abandoned house. Oh, because I didn't ask about the fail safe. I there guess, there yeah, that's fair. Because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Will do, old lady dithers. Now, which one's the abandoned house? You know what? Let's ask Betty you, about this. She's you're friendly. You're supposed to be making Timmy cry. Oh, no. You can do it. I know you can. When you win the game, maybe we can talk some more. Hmm. Okay. Well, apparently I can't bring up that conversation. That could be a... No, there's a lemonade stand in front of it. 
This one's gated off. It doesn't have anything immediately in front of it. 40 kilometers an hour around this? Okay, why are there speed limit signs going both ways? And Oh, I guess this could be yellow. I don't know. A two-way roundabout seems like a horrible idea, though. Let's see if there's an entrance in the back. Maybe we can sneak in. Whee! Smash the window! Oh, this is this where the dog lives? Activate doghouse. We didn't talk to the dog. Can we pet the dog? That's the most important question of this simulation. Yo, doc. Good doggy. Bye. Okay, I guess we're going in the front door. Shh. Activate garden? No. Whoa. What is that noise? It's a noise that was used somewhere else, and I could not tell you what it is. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like the temporality sensor in the uh, DLC of the Outer Worlds. It goes, beep, beep, temporal anomaly detected. Anyhow, so we have to find something terminal-like. I mean, it might not be terminal-like. Let's sleep. I want to see what happens. Maybe this bed is the one. Nope, this bed's not the one. Wait, what? Oh, it's the same room. I'm an idiot. Why do you have two doors on a room like this? You could just have one room, and then you could, like, have... Like, shelves here. Anyhow. Uh, gross. Zero rads water? Now nah, we truly live in a beautiful place. Toilet tank? Maybe that's it. I mean, it's zero rads water. You gotta take what you can. Even if it's a simulation. Child like me has never known... The flavor of toil of un un uh, irradiated toilet water. Oh my god! Do I have to pick an order? Beep beep. Empty bottle. Door to tranquility lane. Let's see. Oh, there's stuff back here as well. I don't know if the beep beeps are a code. Like, if I have to do it in an order, we haven't found one that doesn't be beep yet. So if it's a, you messed up, I don't know what to start with. Well, no beep beeps there. Hmm. Nothing there. Burr, burr. Oh my god, there's a note? Wait. Okay, it's consistent. So let's try and do the notes from lowest to highest. High. Low. So we start with the bottle? Okay, start with the bottle. Cinder block next? I think it's cinder block next. This one's really high, right? Yeah. So we go bottle, block. I think gnome next? Nope, pitcher. And then gnome. So we go bottle, block, pitcher, gnome, radio? Uh, did that work? Do we try the other way around, maybe? Radio. Nuts. Hmm. 
Is there a sixth thing that I just haven't noticed? Because that would have been a really cool puzzle, but it didn't do anything, which is a bit of a bit of a lackluster ending to a puzzle. I think I may have just built myself a puzzle with random parts. I found some rocks on the ground and put them in a square, and now I have solved my own puzzle. How? Okay. Did I miss something to activate? No, I think that's it. I like that a lot. I'm sad it's not working. Anyhow. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go make a small child cry. Because I don't have many other options. We already talked to you, right? Your bill? Good day. I'm just a bill. Sitting here on Tranquility Hill. No, that's Doc. He's hanging out up here. <gasps> have you gone to oh my to god. Yet? Do I have to keep track of what she whistles? And then do that? That feels like too much of an intricate puzzle for a Bethesda game. But I'm totally down. Whistle child. Do it. I think that's more than five notes. Nuts. Let's try. Let's listen. Come on. You know, I'm just sitting on a playground waiting for a small child to whistle. This is just normal adult behavior. Come on, Betty. Pickpocket? Nope. There's birds, but that's not going to be it. Betty, whistle! I don't think it's it. Wait. Oh, you know what? They're gonna have one of these on each of their steps. And we're gonna have to do it that way. Unless there's just a garden gnome at all of them. Okay, it looks like there's just a garden gnome at all of them, and that's kind of confusing. Do, 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 do. I don't have perfect pitch. Milk bottle. Oh, this is the dithers. This is not the abandoned house. Okay. If I can get out of here without making a child cry, this is... I, I'll call this a uber success. Do, 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 do. So, hi. Do, do, do. Nuts. Hmm. They all go beep beep, right? <gasps> Wait, the radio doesn't? It, okay, the first time you click it, it doesn't. So we go. That's a beep? Crap. It is what she was whistling. What? I can do this. Hmm. Hmm. I can do this. Crap.
That was pretty sounding, but it wasn't right. What? Whoops. 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 I can do this! Okay, I need to go listen to her whistle again. There's five notes. Have you gone to see Timmy yet? No, I haven't gone to go see Timmy yet. Come on, Betty. Whistle for me. Please? whistle this once. Alright, I have... I'm gonna write it down. I have five notes. Okay, my whistling? Not great. And I already forget what she whistled. Crap. Okay, we have five notes. I'm writing a measure on my hand. <laughs> Wait, I have paper here. Well, I already have the measure written. I may as well write the notes. It's fine. One, two, yeah, okay. We have five. We have. I just have five lines, so that I don't have to do like half notes or anything. Do 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 do. That's wrong. I can. Okay. Okay. Do 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 do. Crap. Do it again. High, low. Low, high, low, high? Do, 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 Okay, so it's like, do, 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 do. So that's like, five, three, four, three, two, three, two? No, but then there's no one. Okay, the ending one might be a one. All right. I have a bunch of dots on my hand and lines, and it's going to work. Oh, wrong house. This is the right house. Okay, okay. This is... We had the start, right? Let's see if that lines up with what's on my hand. So we have... Five. Three. Four. Three, two, three? No! Crap. Hmm. Do, do, do. Lower? Okay. Maybe that's it? No, that can't be it. How did I screw this up? Okay, the correct start is highest and then So hot okay. It goes radio, gnome, pitcher, brick, bottle in terms of high to low. And we go Okay, and the sequence it is five, three, four, three, two, something. Yeah, five, three, four, three, two. I'm gonna go listen to her again. Five, four, three, okay. Do, 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 do. So it's higher than a two, and then it goes down to a one, I think. Hmm. It could be a three, a four, or a five. Good day. But I thought we've gotten a buzz on all of those.
three, four, three, two, four, one. <gasps> I did it! It, we did it! We did it! Five, three, four, three, two, four, one. Oh, I don't need to make a ch kid cry to finish this level. Please consult the supervisor before proceeding. Access Chinese Invasion Program. Chinese Invasion Failsafe Subroutine Access. Welcome, Dr. Brown. Initiate Failsafe. Let's read the documentation for the Failsafe first. Dr. Brown, here is the revised code for the military training program you've expressed interest in. I'm not sure exactly what you want with it, and I again stress that this program was never designed to be run with civilian equipment. <coughs> Excuse me. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access to can even run it. But if you can run the program with the failsafes off, as requested, your real-world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that officially I denied your request. General Constantine Chase. Simulate a communist incursion on U.S. soil. Disable safety protocols 1 through 6. Override target acquisition. Warning, test subjects will experience real-world termination. Proceed with extreme caution. All right, Dr. Brown entry. There, there are days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both this simulation and my life. That is the reason I requested installation of General Chase's Chinese invasion program, after all. By disabling the safety protocols, I've ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in-simulation avatars are killed. Real-world death. End of simulation. The perfect failsafe. At least I would have. it would have been, if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that the secondary safeties, though those established for all vault tech and military personnel, would prevent my own real-world demise in the event of a failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. It's true the failsafe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane and lead to their brutal deaths, but then what about me? I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and any other avatars I could create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not actual living, thinking, human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? And so, the release of the real-world subjects is more than they deserve, and that uh, more... Wait, what? More than they deserve, more that I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane, alone, and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. So, they're kept alive by the simulation, and they've been alive since the bombs fell? Is this the original stock of vault people? Okay. Version control. Ooh. Version con- uh, no. Let's read the notes first, because this was originally a communist invasion thing. All previous versions wiped, authorization of S. Braun, and Tranquility Lane has been loaded. Exceptions granted for pod 0001, manual override for pods disabled, remote access allowed, user S. Braun has privileges. Updated neural inputs to override memory access for indiv individual users, revised code for vault maintenance robots. Authentication from S. Brown required before further updates allowed. User unknown granted access. User unknown altered by S. Brown. Huh. Uh. Oh, you have entries on three things. Takum Lagoon. I've finally come to the realization that the Toucan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of the beating sun and ceaseless pounding of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I no longer take pleasure in watching Simpson wither away from scurvy or hearing Noosebalm's shrieks as he's devoured by the Mako shark. I'm quite simply bored. Again. It is time to reset the simulation once more. I haven't been skiing in ages. Slalom Chalet. Slalom? I should know this. It's a... No, no, I shouldn't. Never mind. Yesterday, Dithers slipped on the chalet's icy stairs, went airborne, and managed to impale herself on the wrought iron fence. It was spectacular, and completely and utterly random. Is there anything more sublime than that bold crimson on fresh fallen snow? It was almost enough to make me reconsider a change of scenery, but not quite. Twenty-three years is a long enough vacation in the Swiss Alps. I long for something more... domestic. And then finally, Tranquility Lane. I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane 
comforting. Although distinctly American, it somehow reminds me of Cronach, the town of my childhood. There's a beautiful irony with this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally, naturally at home, naturally safe. When I toy with them, when their suburban illusion is suddenly broken, it's that much more satisfying. I do believe we shall all remain here in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time indeed. Oh, marvelous. Access the program. Initiate failsafe. Let's do it. Proceed with caution. Uh, you do it. Wait, what? What? Failsafe, uh, blah, blah, blah. Simulated communist incursion, yep. Yeah, we read that. So it won't let him die. Interesting. Hey, I gained karma. I didn't make a ch small child cry. Oh, damn. I did the thing I said I wasn't going to do. Hello? Oh, okay. Yeah, don't kill Doc, please. He's the only one I really care about. Hey, Betty. How you doing? Do you realize what you've done? <laughs> you've triggered the failsafe. Ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. Uh... I put these people out of their misery. You're getting exactly what you deserve. You've taken them all from me. You've left me with nothing. It's not fair. Nobody to play with ever again. You can leave the simulation. Yeah. Hey, Doc. Good dog. Okay. Well, I'm not... Oh, there's a door here. Is there another door over here? We have another marker over here. Eh. Come on. Oh, make Timmy cry is the other marker, I bet. Hey, Martha. Is Timmy upstairs? You know what? Let's go talk to Martha before she dies. Howdy. Good day to you. All right. Well, they'll die in terror. Not sure exactly what I thought the failsafe was gonna do. I guess, I guess it did what it was supposed to do. I thought the failsafe had do? turned off. I, you know what I did. Well, I made somebody, uh, I was worrying about making somebody not cry and now they're dead. So not sure if that's better. Son. <gasps> You've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. Was he the dog? It's so good to see you. Please but, be the. But what are you was doing? Was he the dog? Here? I came here to find you, Dad. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for Braun, or I might have fared better. Wait, you didn't like being a dog? Well, I suppose it had its moments, but in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. And now that I'm back, I can get back to work. I need to tell Madison what I've learned. What did you learn? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. You've got to be kidding me. You're going back to Rivet City now? Yes. What I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Okay. Let's go. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Okay. Can you tell me about Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. 
Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Oh, the one that was in my crib. Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here. Over time, oh, sorry. that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location. That's right what all DC's the pipes are for. Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Me too. Can we talk for a minute? Of course, son. What's on your mind? I'm kind of mad at you, because you left... Yeah. How could you leave me like that? What were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you but what I, I was doing because people. I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. They killed Jonas. Uh, no. That's not an option. Hmm. I mean, he's putting himself at risk because it's like... He, he has a chance to save humanity, or at least large swaths of it. From dehydration or getting lethally irradiated. Is this about mom? You trying so hard because of what happened to oh, her? Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did. And I don't want that to have been for nothing. I understand. I'm glad we talked. So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Aww. I need to talk to you about What's something. What's on your mind? They killed Jonas. No, we're not going back to the vault, me. Get out of here, me, with your dumb ideas. <laughs> this is an intrusive thought. But, but, it'll all go back to normal. They'll, we'll reanimate Jonas, and everything will be fine. Okay, let's oh. go. What's the big deal about water? We all gotta drink it. The vault it like the start of a horrific a joke. Water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Fair. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Okay. How did Mum really die? It was problems in childbirth, I yeah? understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. Yep. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Oh, good. Not <laughs> once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Let's go. Be careful, my son. Hey, level up! Speech sneak. Ah. <sighs> What do we go for? Energy weapons up to 75? Repair up to 50? Medicine, lockpick, explosives, there's so many choices. Hmm. Restricted computer terminals. I kind of want to just go for speech and energy weapons. Let's put our energy weapons up to 75, because that's like the next tier-ish, you know? And then we can put... Is there anything that four points helps in? Explosives-ish. Uh, let's just go for speech. Continue. You can put a single point into any of your special attributes. I mean, maybe? Let's check if we got anything else. Size matters. You got a big belly? Nope, that's not what that is. That's an arm. Apparently, reading the text below a picture means you don't really look at the picture. Okay, 30 points to speed. Oh, as long as you maintain a neutral karma. I don't want to have to worry about that. We use pistols and rifles, so that's whatever. Lead belly, let's see. Entomologist. Unique dialogue choices. I like unique dialogue choices, that's fun. 
Five points to small guns and repair. Let's just go intense training. Put another point into our special. Characters and creatures you kill will often explode. Oh, never mind. We're going for that. Can't believe he turned you into a dog. <laughs> so these people are all dead? Status. Pulse, zero. Yeah, they're all dead. Okay. Henderson, Dithers, where's Brown? No, you know what? Brown is probably up in the overseer office. Thank you for not attacking me. We have a companion. I mean, I guess we are kind of the companion here, but... Clinic. Let's have a look. Might have some stim packs in here we could steal. Or leather armor? Meh. Exit. Why do they have so much leather armor? Jumpsuit? Okay. Oh, earnings. I thought it said earrings clipboard, and I was like, what does that what does that mean? Is this another clinic? Or maybe this is just the clinic. Hey, drugs, perfect. Those are worth money. Apparently empty syringes are too. I'm gonna not pick those up for fear of stabbing myself with them. 200 year old packs of cigarettes. We did it, we got the stim pack. I'm coming dad, I just wanna check out the, the overseer's office first. I wonder if there was a way I could have escaped without killing the kid, the, the residents. I'll never know. That's not true. I I might know at some point if I ever play this game again. But I I won't know for a long time, probably. This game's fun. Is it going is it going to join my replay list of Bethesda games? Like I'm not gonna replay Oblivion probably for a while. I played it last year or the year before. I've replayed Skyrim recently. I got it uh, used from somebody on Kijiji for like $20 on the Switch, and I played that a lot. And I've replayed that game a ton. We, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to play through Fallout 3 again. I've made choices that I would be cool doing differently, and a play style, like a different play style could be fun. Like, for example, minigun and fat man. <laughs> could be a lot of uh, a lot of fun. Why are there just Brahmin hanging out in the middle of nowhere? You doing okay there, buds? So we could just walk there. Hey dad, I have this magic superpower. It's called fast traveling. You won't believe it. You close your eyes and you just sleepwalk all the way there. You don't remember a thing. Uh, Papa? Hello? Maybe let's give him a couple hours to get here. I, I assumed he would have fast traveled with us, but it seems uh, he has to walk. Papa? Is that you? Where is... He's still over there, okay. Fast travel here again. That would be very silly. Let's give him three hours. Don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. Okay, he's at the Washington Monument. Okay, we'll, uh... Apparently it's more like teleporting than sleepwalking. Hello? I can't take it anymore. Please. Oh, that's the traitor. Do you have any purified water? Because I would pick some up for this Got guy. Got some junk. Hey, hey, look. Looking to buy. Uh, Crazy yes. wolf gangs got oh, just I, what you need. I mean, sure, Assuming I'll buy you need the random pack, junk I guess. that I've got. Okay, it's aid, and he does not have any other aid. Let's sell what we can. Don't need this. Do not need three laser rifles. Although we can repair. 
How much are we getting for this laser rifle? 94. I'll look at repairing it. Except. Give me a shout if you need anything. Okay. Items. I think repairing might just work like Minecraft repairing. Weapons. Here we go. Laser rifle. Our best one is this. We cannot repair. 43% repair skill needed. Okay. Our laser rifle that we are currently using is more a repaired than anything. Pockets. Than Crazy anything I can got buy and it's need. much Assuming more repaired you need than the random junk repairing that I have got. Okay, so sell those. Sell these outcast power helmets we got. Don't need this jumpsuit. Antat, psycho. Radaway is fine to hold on to. So these. Okay. We can sell the darts. And the electron charge packs? I still don't know what those are for. Flamer? Sounds like a heavy weapon. 403 caps. Okay. So we just buy the stim packs and hope that that's enough. Nuts. I'm selling too much. Do you have any bobby pins? No? Nope. No bobby pins? Darn. Okay. Give me my laser rifle back. I'd I'll have to sell to someone else. Yo, dad. How's it going? You coming? Is that him? Or is that a garbage can? I'm not sure. Laser rifle. The valuable one. Oh my god, we got everything unequipped when we turned into a child in the simulation. We have to redo our hotkeys. Okay. So pistol on one, rifle on two. Uh, assault rifle. Hunting rifle on three. Assault rifle on four, shotgun on five, and then stim on six. We only have six stims, but that's you know, something. Is that him? It's someone. Could be him. Although I, I thought he was more north. Although we have a compass. Oh god, it's him. Oh, don't get yourself killed. I just spent so long looking for you. <laughs> Oh, that you big dummy. You become an adult and realize that your parents are idiots. At least somewhat idiots. Okay. Um, I'm just going to play assuming he's essential so that I'm not anxious and panicking this whole time. Doesn't mean I'm just gonna leave him to his fate, but. Oh, a laser rifle. Okay, Sci science weapons, I made a good choice. I'm happy with this. You're just meleeing this brute? Okay. Old Papa is a absolute baller. As the fellow kids say. You use a minigun? Excuse me? Okay, that was the first lockpick we've broken. That kind of saddens me. Four missiles. Whoa, those are valuable. Exit. Exit. I can't believe he uses a freaking minigun. That's so weird. Did he pick it up from this? I think he might have picked it up from this guy. Yo, Dad, I never imagined you as a minigun kind of guy. Okay. Another pick. Perfect. Lying congressional style. That's a book. We already have that uh, ability, so we can read that. Why do I have an observer in my... It's a quest item. Okay, fair enough. Speech? Perfect. All right. How you doing? 
It's impossible to talk to him while he's while he's on a mission. Hey there. Cool backpack. I should get one of those. Yeah, I just uh have my gun on my back. Not not as uh not as cool looking, but means Ugh Are you slightly slower than me or did I just take a more efficient path? I'm not sure. Probably I just took a more efficient path. Welcome to Rivet City. Are those mushrooms? I mean, it would make sense if there's like a rain dripping. Cool. Jump! Ah! I wanted to beat him. Welcome to Rivet City. Oh, I was kind of hoping he would. Pressing the button would just make the bridge mess up. Oh wait, but it folds in towards the ship, so I would just be stuck over there and he'd be in here. Yeah, that would have not been good. Guess we're going straight to the doctor. No marketplace here. I am glad I'm following him, because this place is kind of a labyrinth. There are signs, which is good, but... Yes? Having someone to follow is nice. Uh... Oh, we went in the other way. I think we were on this... F yeah, when we came in, we came in through that door. He's back. I told you it would work, Madison. And now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. Watch it! Oh, sorry, Janice. Can adapt it to work with the purifiers. Bobblehead. You, James, I really would. You found a Vault-Tec limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, "It takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn." My intelligence has been permanently increased by one. Sweet. So, so sudden. Actually, can I just drop it back? Give it back to them. It's a quest item? No! Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. Yeah. It's important to you too. Let's finish it together. James, I, we don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking Garza, about that. Come on. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Purifiers, you assemble! Hi, Dr. You Lee. You found him? I can't believe it! You sound much more you excited now that you're not talking we to him. We would be lost without James. Okay, cool! You seem real happy. No, of course not. I'm simply glad that our work can continue. I did it. Yeah, James I don't know why I picked that. James is essential to the that. project, that that's seems... all, really. Yep. Do you think Project Purity will ever work again? I have faith in your father. With the knowledge he's gained, we stand a better chance than we ever have. I have to go now. Farewell. Farewell Excellent. to you. Hey, Dad. We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Let's get going. That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Thank you. I need hey to head man. to the marketplace first. Uh, who are you guys? Some people are in such a hurry. Armitage. Lay a hand on Doctor Zimmer, and I'll snap your neck like Security a chicken bone. Security and oh, you're Doctor you Zimmer. You there? What are you? Some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Hello. Are you by any chance? For hire? What are you talking about specifically? 
to the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Sure. Well, Why that's not? That's all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons. They talk synthetic about synths? humanoids. Programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander the off. The Institute. <sighs> Sounds like slavery to me, if they're truly as impressively programmed as you say. You sure they don't wander off on Nonsense. purpose? Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about! Can you enslave a generator or He's a water one. purifier? Of course not! The same principle applies! I can feel it. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. Okay. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure how it... I don't know. I don't really need to talk about money because I'm not going to end up doing the job. I'm going to help the android escape, probably. Um... Is your wallet as big as your mouth, Mr. Zimmer? How quaint. Of course you'll be rewarded. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, oh, it you'll be, be a the science envy weapon. of all your friends. I'll look into your android problem. Excellent. Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear. I'm sorry. I'll make him pay he for that. He did a mind wipe, but he's still mocking you. All right. I have to go now. Of course you do. Yeah, of course you do. Anyhow, quests. Search for clues. Right, I guess we should just talk the to him. The sooner you find my Yeah, I hear you, bud. Uh, any suggestions for finding him? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for Android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Okay. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. <sighs> Is it, if this android wandered off, why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe, maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled, escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life, wipe away all memory, all guilt, trick himself into believing he really is human. Hmm. So no. He may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human, no matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. Yeah, my guy, if you don't want to have, if you don't want to discuss with people the potential sentience of your robotic, of your robots or your, uh, or your software, don't give them feelings. Just have them do tasks. That's how machines work, usually. <laughs> Don't give them feelings that might make them have guilt. Because once they have feelings, they might... There, There's an argument to be had that they are actually sentient. Who knows? <sighs> Why would an android feel guilt? Come on, Zemar, what aren't you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Yes, I Very am. Well. That's me. I'll tell you what you want to know if it helps you locate my property. 
The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Oh, and it yes, escaped. Others have huh. escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so, this particular android may have believed he'd oh. done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? Sure. If the others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is uh, different. Special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321? He is irreplaceable. Okay, Dr. Zimmer. Of course you do. <sighs> Fine. That's close enough. Keep your hands where I can see them. Synths, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Hello, son. How do we get out? No, that's someone's room. <laughs> Hey there. Staley's door. Marketplace. Here we go. This is Marketplace. Perfect. Oh, it crashed going into the market again. Well, I guess we'll call it here. Uh, we'll have our discussions of sentience uh, with artificial intelligence later. Uh, we're nowhere near that in real life. We have some really impressive tech, but Nothing that can really feel guilt in that way. And I hope we don't have to think about that for quite a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have a good rest of your day. Uh, be good to yourself and your toaster, just in case, you know. And uh, bye.